Love and Soul Cake. Do we even plug in the amp? Or? A lot of times I take a direct right out of this thing. That's cool. Uh, so, yes, real quick. We don't got a lot of time. Let me talk real fast. Okay. All right. Here's a string. It's ringing 110 times a second. Everyone going like this. Ah. Your voice is going 110 times a second, open and closing. Ba -ba 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 really fast, 110 times, it makes it sound like ah. What is an octave? It is any multiple of that number. So, 110. If you go, uh, uh, cut it in half. Uh, 55, 110, 220, ah, uh, everyone go, ah. Uh, nice. 440, everyone go, ah. Uh, everyone, 880. Uh, Nothing. Okay, let's go higher then. All right, 880, 1760, Mariah Carey. Hit that, ready? Okay, all right, 
Uh, that's six octaves. All right, and uh, stop. Okay, come on. We don't got time for clapping. All right, so. <laughs> So, the string is ringing. If you cut the string in half, the exact halfway point is your 12th fret. Unless your guitar isn't intonated right, then it's gonna be off a little bit, and it's gonna sound either sharp as you go up the neck or flat as if you go up the neck. Think of it this way, if your string is too long, the middle point is gonna be higher than that 12th fret, and all your fretted notes are gonna be flat. If your string is too short, that means that the middle length of your string is somewhere instead of the 12th fret, is behind it, maybe 11 and a half or something. And all your notes will be higher when you hit them, higher than what they're supposed to be. So that's what intonation does, is you adjust these so that this 12th fret sounds exactly one octave higher. Because when you take a string and you cut it in half, the frequency doubles, it vibrates twice as fast. So you take anything. That one right there, uh, 110, cut it in half, kunk. It's only this long now that it's vibrating. 220, twice as fast. It's a reciprocal kind of thing of the fraction. So you have one half the length, one over two becomes twice the frequency, two over one. And that works for any point that you cut that string. Let's say you cut it at the seventh fret. That is one third the length of the string, the seventh fret. And it is three times the original frequency. So one third becomes three over one, 110, becomes 330. And that's how Pythagoras, Pythagoras, see I'm talking too fast. That's how Pythagoras figured out how to tune. He said, okay, here's this, and then we go to the twice as fast, three times as fast. And take that ratio, boom, boom, the first power chord. And that means that we have this now. So now let's drop that back an octave, cut in half, boom. And let's do the same more for that. Okay, now we have, cool, now we have this, and this, and this. And he did that until he figured out where all 12 notes should be, and that's where they figured out where to put the frets. Cool, all right. So, now, what I was doing uh, many, many years ago, when I was really getting into guitar construction and modification and just experimentation, uh, when I realized, all right, you just simply cut the length of a string in half, and it doubles the frequency. So that means that if half the length of a string is 12 octaves, 12 octaves higher than any note is its octave, and that means that half the distance of any note that you're fretting down will be its octave. So that means that you don't have to worry about the frets anymore. You could just start looking at the length of string and visually cutting it in half. So once you have run out of frets, you can keep them going if you could find some way to access the notes that continue. Where would they be? Just visualize what you have over here. And picture an octave higher of each length. Like that, and you can find them. So how do I access these notes? Well, we are <laughs> taking the string and pressing it against the metal fret. So all we need is something metal that we can press against the string. So on my picking hand, on my fourth little finger, my pinky, I keep a metal thimble. And that is my mobile fret that I can hit down against the string once I've run out of frets that are on the neck. And that is how I would get the stuff in that song I just played. So once you run out, you hit this. And that's how I was getting everything. So I was doing this little thing in groups of five, a one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, and just tapping it all out. And once I got to here, I get up to here. I use that to get, and that's how I'm hitting the rest of the stuff. And getting everything else using this to continue. So that's what I'm doing in that song. Cool, something different. Yay, wow. all right. So now here's the thing though, here's what you realize is that, nice moment of silence there. Once you are doing this and you're dividing the lengths of string and you're noticing, well, it's just where your harmonics are. Each of those harmonics, they go, boom, 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 all that stuff. Those are the division points of the string. 12th fret, half the length of the string doubles the frequency. 7th fret, plus 12 frets higher than that, is one third the length of the string, three times the frequency. 5th fret is one quarter the length of the string, and you find that point plus seven frets higher, plus 12 frets higher. And then if you go to one fifth the length of the string, which is five times the frequency, it is at the fourth fret and then five frets higher. Whoops. Seventh, and then 12 frets higher, which we don't 
have a 12th fret higher. So we just visually look down and say, that looks about right. And that's where it is. And it keeps on going. Oops. In there somewhere. Cool. That means that whatever's happening this way, you'll notice, is happening the same this way. The same distances out of the center. Same thing, kind of. So if that means that whatever happens this way is also happening this way, that means that whatever happens this way should happen this way. Which means that if you're getting harmonics that go towards the center, well, let me take that off. More volume. There should be on some other plane of existence, a fretboard just like this one coming this way that you should be able to access. Because if whatever is happening in one half is a mirror of what happens in the other half. So then I started thinking, if all we're really doing now is shortening lengths of string, cutting it in half, cutting it in thirds, cutting it in whatever, and we're even doing it, you know, using this thing to cut it in half to get a higher octave, then let's say you just want to go from an open string to the first fret. We are shortening the length of string by this much. So we should be able to do the same thing from the other direction. Hmm. So then you should be able to play the guitar from both directions. This way, shortening the length, and this way, shortening the length. So let's say you're all playing, you're all fancy. You're like, check it out, I'm playing two notes, and they go like this. And you add another note. All we're doing is we're taking this much string and shortening to here and shortening to there and then back. You can do it like this. Now that last little bit that we're shortening, this piece right here, you should be able to do it over here as well. And you could play from both directions. Let's say you want to go farther. Take that last little bit, and you can do it over here. And you could be playing from both directions at once. I should have tuned my guitar before coming out here, but that's okay. Um, so that's what I do. I play with uh, my mom's sewing kit and make weird noises. Uh, thank you very much. Good night. Uh, let me see. Let me play another song. Let me check my tuning real fast here just because that note is really flat, and that means that this one probably is too, and yeah, no it's not, and that one's okay there. Let's check this one here, and now let's look at that one. Oh shit, I have to do this for two next, damn it. All right, and let's move that down here. All right, now I gotta tune twice. Ah, screw it, I'll just slide up to whatever I need. Okay. Yes, fretless. It's like a big old slide on every... <laughs> Enough about the fretless. Let's do another song. All right. But first, some coffee. <laughs> ah. Now I am calm. <laughs> now I am not. Okay. <laughs> How great was Steve?
hold up my voice. So let's see what happens. Been dazed and confused for so long, it's not true. One in a world they never bargained for you. Lots of people talk and few of them know. So love a woman was created below.
Take it easy, baby. Let them say what they will. Pull your tongue wag so much when I send you for bail. Thank you very much.